Hello everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today I'm going to be covering what is called scapular dyskinesis. Now you may be asking yourself, what the heck is scapular dyskinesis? Scapular dyskinesis is the medical term, meaning that your shoulder blades are not sitting in a good posture when you are at rest, or they are not moving properly when you are moving the shoulder. Scapular dyskinesis can be caused by an injury or it can be a contributing factor to an injury. It can also be caused by a strength imbalance and it definitely contributes to injuries because what happens is when the shoulder blade is not being stabilized well, then the rotator cuff muscles and the long head of the bicep have to do more work and those areas become more susceptible to injury. The scapula is the medical term for the shoulder blade. There are three different types of scapular dyskinesis. Now if you think about how the shoulder blade is on the back of the rib cage, the first type is that the inside border is completely away from the spine. The second type is when the lower edge of the inside border is away from the spine. And the third one is when someone is moving the shoulder, there is abnormal motion. The scapula either raises or it rotates an excessive amount. Now these happen usually because there is a strength and balance between the anterior shoulder muscles and the posterior shoulder muscles. The muscles called the scapular retractors are not strong. The scapular retractors are the rhomboid minor, the rhomboid major, the lower part of the trapezius muscle, and the middle part of the trapezius muscle. These muscles work to stabilize the scapula and hold it in place when we are at rest and when we are moving. There are what's called distal and proximal causes of scapular dyskinesis. Distal means that it is farther from the center of the body. Proximal means that it's closer to the center of the body. The causes that are distal are a AC joint separation, a shoulder joint dislocation, or a labral tear. Proximal causes, this is what I already touched on. This is when there is weakness in the posterior shoulder muscles in the scapular retractor muscles, the muscles that pull the scapula towards the spine. These muscles originate on the spine and then they attach to the inside border, what we call in medical terminology, the medial border of the scapula. There is a proximal cause to scapular dyskinesis. These problems are something that can be combated. It can be prevented and it can be rehabilitated by stretching the muscles in the anterior chest by stretching the pectoralis major, the pectoralis minor, the latissimus dorsi muscle, the teres major, and the subscapularis. And by strengthening the muscles that retract the scapula. Retraction is when the shoulder blades are pulled closer to the spine. Again, these muscles are the rhomboid minor, the rhomboid major, the middle part of the trapezius, and the lower part of the trapezius. Stretching the muscles in the front part of the shoulder, stretching the rib cage muscles, the chest muscles, this can be accomplished in many different ways. I have several videos on this that you may want to check out. They're also posted on Dr. Ocello's Sports Medicine Report. One is in a supine position for stretching the chest and rib cage muscles, and one is in a standing position. You can also use a foam roller to help to stretch these muscles, and you could also use a fit ball to help these help to stretch the anterior shoulder muscles and the chest and rib cage muscles. And then strengthening the scapular retractor muscles, this can be done in several different ways. Obviously the main motion is scapular retraction. This is when the muscles contract and they pull the shoulder blades so that they are closer to the spine. Now the best way to start this is in an isometric fashion where you are either kneeling or you can, or you can be standing or sitting, and you concentrate on those muscles. You keep your mid-back straight, you keep your neck straight, and you pull the shoulder blades backwards, and you hold an isometric contraction for two to six seconds. 
Start with a two second hold and build to a six second hold. You can also strengthen these muscles by using resistance band or using weights where you have a pulley system. Say you are on a seated pulley row or you are at a different angle when you are at the pull down machine. When you're at the pull down machine, this definitely targets the lower trapezius better, which is usually the muscle that needs the most work of the scapular retractors. There is a video that I made on scapular retraction, resistant scapular retraction, that I am going to post to the end of this video, provide a link, so you will be able to see that directly. But strengthening the, these muscles and developing proportional strength is key in preventing scapular dyskinesis and correcting scapular dyskinesis. Again, stretch the muscles in the anterior part of the shoulder, stretch the chest muscles, stretch the rib cage muscles, and strengthen the scapular retractor muscles. Several other things that you wanna to do to help to correct this condition is to look at your posture. You may have a kyphosis of the thoracic spine, meaning that the thoracic spine may curve Forward. So you want to do thoracic extension exercises and thoracic spine mobility exercises. The extension exercise will help to strengthen the muscles that keep the thoracic spine straight and the, the mobilization exercises will help to allow for better motion in the thoracic spine. Another exercise that you want to concentrate on is what is called cervical retraction. What I mean by cervical retraction is the neck is moving straight backwards. This is a key exercise in helping to correct poor posture in the upper body. Another one that you could do is an exercise that I invented called roll-ups, where it's a combination of thoracic extension, cervical retraction, and scapular retraction. It is an isometric exercise that you could perform once you have mastered isometric scapular retraction, thoracic extension, and cervical retraction. So you want to make sure that the thoracic spine and the cervical spine are in a good position to allow you to strengthen the scapular retractor muscles even more. You want to strengthen that entire muscle area and that is going to help to combat scapular dyskinesis. This is due to weakness in the scapular retractor muscles which prevents scapular stability. So do yourself a favor Stretch the muscles in the chest, the ribcage, and the anterior shoulders. Strengthen the scapular retractor muscles and strengthen the thoracic spine and the cervical spine. You can also do exercises for the posterior deltoid, such as reverse flies, and you can do exercises for the rotator cuff muscles, the posterior rota rotator cuff muscles, which are the supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, and the teres minor. This is going to help to build proportional strength in the shoulder, and this will help you to prevent shoulder injuries by correcting scapular dyskinesis and by providing stability to the shoulder blade. Thank you very much for watching today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report on scapular dyskinesis. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of running, maximize performance, and minimize injuries. Please feel free to visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can get additional information on the book. And you can also visit my blog, where there are a number of articles on health, fitness, and especially on spine health. Please feel free to like this video. Please feel free to leave suggestions, questions, or feedback in the comments section below. Please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube page. My YouTube page is Dr. Donald A. Ozello, DC. If you are watching this video, you are on my YouTube page. So please always remember, always, always, always remember to train hard, but train smart. Get adequate rest between training session. Utilize supplementation and nutrition strategies that work for you stay injury-free, and accomplish your goals.